and the health of the consumer seeming to be up for some debate now for quite some time. While most executives and economists are or do seem to agree that spending is slowing, especially in discretionary items, some see this as an indication of a larger economic slowdown, while others aren't expressing much worry. The experts that we've talked to over the past few weeks have had this to say. The consumer is still hanging in there. They're being choiceful, they're being discerning, they're looking for value and focusing on those things that are essentials versus the discretionary items. We think the consumer is slowing. We're, we're in the weaker camp. So there is this mismatch. The top 20% doing very, very well, going to keep spending. The, the lower incomes households, perhaps the, the lower 60%, really feeling some financial pain right now. The U.S. consumer is doing okay, but the U.S. consumer is doing okay because they still have a job. The second that the employment market flips, we think the U.S. consumer, un unfortunately, will falter. So is, a, is consumer spending a bigger catalyst for the economy? We have our very own Brooke De Palma here with us. And Brooke, I'm just curious, just your takeaway from this earnings season so far, the commentary that we are getting, what is the assessment of the consumer? Yeah, well, let's be clear that consumer spending is a key driver for the U.S. economy. And what we're hearing from multiple uh, multiple retailers, whether it be a Walmart or a Target or a Macy's, a slew of them, is that consumers are being more choicey. They're really being more discerning, and they're really picking and choosing where they want to spend their dollars. They're still gravitating towards those essential items like groceries. But then when they do tend to go to apparel a little bit more than what we've seen recently is that they're looking for value, they're looking for discounts, they're looking for the best deals that they can get. And you take a Walmart who has low prices every day, they're doing well in this environment. And then we heard from Target out this morning that those $5,000 plan to lower prices over this summer really seemed to benefit them. They cut prices on 5,000 items announced uh, ahead of Memorial Day weekend. And so that's playing into their Q2 results. And then you also hear from a discount retailer like TJ Maxx, they're saying, that more customers are going to them, that they're seeing higher foot traffic as consumers are really searching for deals in this environment, guys. I think it's really interesting. Two things that come to mind for me as kind of my big takeaways from this. One is that the discounts seem to be working, and that could be an indication that inflation is going to potentially continue to come down in terms of consumer spending on goods. Uh, we are seeing consumer staples hitting record highs today in the stock market side of things as well. But also it makes me think that the street is potentially trading on this idea of a resilient consumer and more resilience than they had anticipated. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a strong consumer. To your point, Brooke, you started out by saying the consumer makes up two thirds of our GDP, right? So it is critical that the consumer stays healthy. And I'm curious to see whether or not we'll continue to see more price cuts to meet the consumer where they are, or if we'll have a consumer that can stand up to any sort of prices moving forward. Yeah, you think about America's biggest retailer, you think about Walmart, and what we heard on the call from them is that when they introduced better goods. It's a $5 price point. It's your new private label brand. They said, hey, we're working with vendors to bring their prices down because what they're seeing is consumers responding to this very niche price point, this low budget, people really looking for higher quality goods for a lower price. Walmart winning over share in private in their private brand. And so now they're saying that they're working with vendors to lower prices. When exactly we'll see that happen? Well, we have to wait and see. And ultimately, if consumers pull back by continuing to buy less, that really could be a, a catalyst, so to say, on these big CPG brands to really lower prices in the coming months.